Uh, my husband and I do uh, every morning a word a day. We have two calendars, a regular one and then one called Forgotten English. On Friday morning, we got a word called millet marshalist, and it's an old word that's been forgotten. But there was a picture of uh, General MacArthur on it, and something that MacArthur said that chilled both of us and anyone I have since read it to, to the bone. It was on Friday, January 26th, the birthday of General Douglas MacArthur. 1880 through 1964. He graduated at the top of his class at West Point before beginning a 52-year Army career. He served with distinction during World War I, World War II, and the Korean War, earning more than two dozen medals, including five silver stars, two purple hearts, and a promotion to five-star general. But toward the end of his career, he became increasingly disillusioned with American policies. In a candid speech to the Michigan legislature in the year 1952, he warned, quote, it is part of the general pattern of misguided policy that our country is now geared for an arms economy, which was bred in an artificially induced psychosis of war hysteria and nurtured upon an incessant propaganda of fear. While such an economy may produce a sense of seeming prosperity for the moment, it rests on an illusionary foundation of complete unreliability and renders among our political leaders almost a greater fear of peace than is their fear of war. Talk of imminent threat to our national, our national security through the application of external force is pure nonsense. Our threat is from the insidious forces working from within, which have already so drastically altered the character of our free institutions, those institutions we proudly call the American way. Woo